What's up, gamers? Your boy Beast Gamer Kuma here with an interesting topic. I don't know. Well, interesting to me, I want to say. Talking about frustration in video games. That's right. Because honestly, I realized during the past couple of months, I have shifted gears in playing more Souls like games. Got into more of the Lives of P recently. I checked out Sekiro. And honestly, I felt like, you know, I had my peak of challenges with other games that I played. And, you know, Souls like isn't really for me, but I get the appeal of it. And it's frustrating. But it helps you become better. Which I love. I, I found my gaming smile again, if you want to say. Where the challenge is. If I get beat by a boss, it's like I'm not getting mad. It is frustrating, but I'm also learning from my mistakes. Because the Souls like titles... That's this prime example of the frustration is a patient game. I'm noticing every time I walk down a corridor or go down a street area, I know something's going to jump out or something's waiting in a corner and it's just going to strike. So my street instincts come into play when I play an example, Liza P. I knew there was somebody in a corner because, you know, you see something, an item, a box or something like that in an untouched area just like wait a minute it's like that seven samurai scene where the guy's holding the sword above his head waiting for somebody to walk through to really test if they're a warrior if they don't walk through they already know that there's this whole thing's a setup and it feels like danger so that's why i peek around the corner of course i see the enemy right there waiting to strike and jump me or something falling from the ceiling so it's crazy how much patience i got with these games and then it came to the co-op experience when I played Evil West with my boy, Vukiro. Yes, this gentleman right here, you can follow him. He's a very cool streamer. Definitely awesome person. My little brother. Video game brother. Um, But yeah, we was playing the co-op of Evil Dead, which is not really like what you think. You just You can invite somebody to play with you and they'll just play a copy character of who you already have. But you can upgrade and stuff like that. But we had this one frustrating moment. Now, you can chalk it up with Evil Dead's glitches, or it was just our impatience going on. But the best part about this is this is what made it much better was the fact that we didn't give up. Oh, we got frustrated. We were getting really frustrated because as close as we are was beating this vampire god thing, something happened. And this is what fueled us because every time we kept on getting closer, we understood the assignment, we got better, and we learned. And it's awesome. That was, a, that was the best thing about it. Plus, I didn't want to quit on my homie because he, you know, we wanted to do this co-op for a while, and this was freaking awesome. The gameplay is actually pretty good, and the combat is pretty sweet. They just need to fix those glitches, but it, it inspired this whole topic of the frustrating frustration in video games. I mean, at some point, we did quit because the lag got really weird out of nowhere. Like, he was playing for five hours with no problem, and then us playing, and then all of a sudden had lag after that big, bad fight, which was funny as hell. But frustration doesn't always have to be bad. Yes, you can step away. You can walk away. You can just chill out for a little bit, assess the situation, and then get back into it. And, yeah, that's why I have a better respect for the Souls titles. Souls titles and Souls-like experiences. As a piece of and I'm about to get back. I'm about to get into Lords of the Fallen just to check that out to see how that is. And then you got the roguelites, which my cousin, Trickster, is into. And I even started getting that because I just got into the play test for Hades 2. Granted, I never played Hades 1, but yeah, this got me peeking. I'm about to go back and play Hades 1 again because it's actually fun understanding, experimenting, and breaking down what you have to do to get better at the game. Now, there are some people that make their own challenges in their games by they want that, you know, like my friend Lexi, she's going through a level 1 challenge for Liza P. I'm not like that. I I try to get as powerful as possible, so I can. That's my fun. I'll go in there like a freaking demigod, just smacking around people, and that's what I did in Liza P. I grind enough where I was able to take on bosses a little bit better. Because honestly, the bosses wasn't that challenging. It was everything around the bosses, the sub bosses, the creatures, new creatures that are coming in doing some god. And I hate decay. I hate the decay poisoning. It's so freaking annoying. Even though you get elements, I get that. But it forces you to really use those elements. And oh my God, it's, it's so frustrating at times. But yeah, uh, 
I, I dig on the frustration and I dig on the learning from being frustrated and it makes gaming a lot better right now. I'm about to dive into something real quick. Ah, oh, so good. I just want to get that off my chest. It's just a straight up velocity. I just want to hear your experience. What game that made you a better gamer? That is the question. I mean, I've been gaming for years right now. I've been gaming for years. And I'm right now, I'm currently playing Contra Operation Galuga. And most people be like, oh, Contra Z. Uh, it is, but it isn't at the same time. That was like, when Contra first came out, that was super challenging. Especially if you could beat the game with only three lives without using the Konami code. That's the only achievement that some can say they have. Most people boast about it. But I never really see per person try in IRL. So I've seen some, though, that did a video on it, which is pretty cool. But, you know. When you were in school, we didn't have YouTube and stuff like that. People said they did it. And then when you bring them over, and I, honestly, that still doesn't mean nothing because the pressure of seeing everybody on your Nintendo trying to play Contra with just three lives by themselves and everybody's on. Yeah, you're going to get pressure and you're going to make mistakes. So that still doesn't even count. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Who cares? It's still the fun of it and the learning experience that brings up to the whole reason why I'm a gamer as of right now. It's like, I felt like, I branched into a new life as a gamer. So yeah, that's my that's my thought process. I I just wanted to share some thoughts and I want to hear your thoughts on it. Like what game? Like I said, you got some frustrating stories. I bet I want to hear them. Let's share. What game got you that frustrated, but you still stuck with it and got better because of it? Share in the comments below. And also hit that like and subscribe button. It's actually pretty nice. I also have a Patreon. You can check out for free members. Don't worry about paying. You can just join. I do news, reviews, and other vlogs and stuff like that. Especially this one that's going to be up on there. So I thank you all for the support. We up at 1424 subscribers. That's pretty dope. That is pretty dope. But yeah, let me hear your thoughts. Other than that, great day. And as always, be stepped.